What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. All right, we just got our first iOS 17.1 beta and we're gonna be installing it here on our new iPhone 15 Pro Max to see all of what it entails. We'll do our traditional song and dance, check out the build numbers. We are waiting on quite a few features that were announced earlier that should be available now in 17.1 that are promised for October. That goes likewise for watchOS 10 with the new tap navigation gestures and as well as contact shares and all that. Kind of like you use two phones NFC wise to transfer data, you can now use that with your watch. We'll touch on that in a separate video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for all of that. As far as 17.1 goes, I'm kind of excited. Let's see what it entails. There's been a lot of commotion about issues with iOS 17, uh, overheating issues and stuff like that. Let's see if this fixes it. Let's jump right into it. Okay, as you guys can see, iOS 17.1 has been installed and updated. And first things first, before we even unlock it again, especially with all the heat concerns going on, let's do our check. And you can see, as traditionally is common, the top corner of the device and around the camera module is usually where it gets the hottest. And you can see we're hovering around 106, almost 107 degrees. The bottom is traditionally cooler, but that is staying consistent around this new iPhone 15 and its update. Now, as hot as this might seem, this is an improvement from what we had on the iPhone 14 Pro Max where we were regularly seeing over 110 degrees. So again, I'll take it. If you guys didn't see our other hands-on video talking about the heat displacement and heat issues that were reported with the 15 Pro Max, go check that out. Uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised, at least in our findings on day-to-day -day usage, not extreme usage. Um, that it actually held up pretty well and we didn't experience any of those other problems. So first things first, jumping into iOS 17.1, beta one is the size. So this file came in right under six and a half gigs. Specifically, it was 6.46 gigabytes for this 15 Pro Max. Let's jump into settings, general, about, and this version build is gonna be, as you can see here, 21B, 5045H. So the H is significant just because we always work backwards forward to the front of the alphabet for finalized beta releases to actual public releases. And an H build signifies we are definitely some weeks away still for this release. Apple did say October would bring 10.1 with a number of new features, uh, specifically the journaling app. You have the collaboration for Apple Music playlists airdrop over internet, there's a number of features that we still don't have that should be coming soon. I can tell you after a quick search, unless it was in settings, there is no journaling app yet. And I do wanna just show you, since this was a concern also prior, system data you can see comes in right where it should, under 10 gigs. iOS 17.1 comes in right over 11. So that looks as it should. There was some hesitation for us to actually install this this year just because of how well our phone was operating, how it never did have any of those heat issues and all that. So we were happy to see that. So like I said, scrolling down through all the Apple apps, you can see still no journaling app here yet. We did a search for it. It did not come up as well. We didn't search in settings. So let's check that though. If I could type, nothing still coming up for that. So that is still yet to be seen. Let's go into music and we'll open up Apple Music and you can see same splash screen, nothing new necessarily here just, just yet that we are being brought to our attention. So nothing there. Uh, I did look in the feedback app and as you can see here, the notes have not updated yet as well. So couple call outs. Um, we still have a couple of weeks to stable release. And if I was to guess and jump into our calendar here, we are now at the very end of September. I would assume currently we'll follow our two week pattern and get another release on the 11th, possibly another single release a week after on the 18th or the 25th. But it's gonna be very interesting for when the final release build is, since this is so far off of an A build or a B build even. so. It'll be questionable to see what Apple does in this regard. Technically, they're about a week late or behind from when they traditionally release these betas. Usually it comes out right after the main release, 
to developers for the next round of beta testing, but that didn't happen, obviously. Uh, there's rumors that this was due to a 17.0.2 needing to be released and resources being taken to that, but yeah. Anyways, having said that, we're going to do a much deeper dive and see all the new features that are here, but a lot of the main ones I don't see on the surface just yet. We'll do a whole video on the testing of what we find new feature-wise, but I want to let you guys know it is out. Go download it, and we will catch you in that subsequent video. Stay tuned to the channel as well. We will be doing watchOS 10.1, which also has a lot of features coming up in the near future as well. Peace.